Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe video, we are going to make an easy chili recipe. And this is by far been my favorite chili recipe to make. It's so easy, it's delicious. I will say you have to make the chili recipe, which is super easy, and you have to make the chili cheese sauce, which also is super easy, but you have to have it together. Um, I'll talk about the chili and different things that you can spice it up, but this is a pretty bland chili, just so it feeds a lot of different palates, but I promise you, if you make this chili cheese sauce with it, it like pumps it up to another level where you can eat a ton of this and never get tired of it. We make this all the time in the winter months, and I'm so excited to share it with you. So last night I taught a plant-based cooking class, and I'll give a little shout out to my Upper St. Clair um, group that we that I taught this cooking class to, and they loved it. And I'll tell you what, make the cheese sauce with it. Don't forget that part. But both are super easy, and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna walk you through it. I have my new microphone and my camera set up, so hopefully this looks good and sounds good. Um, but we're gonna get started. So let's talk about the ingredients to start. I'm gonna make it today in our Instant Pot. You can make this in a slow cooker, you can make this on the stove top. Um, it's really simple, you just wanna cook everything until the vegetables are nice and tender, and that's pretty much it. But we're gonna use our Instant Pot today because I love this thing, and it's so easy just to throw everything in and kind of forget about it while, while we make our cheese sauce. So dinner can be done in only half an hour's time. Um, so, Let's talk about ingredients. You have one chopped onion, it can be medium size, um, two cloves of garlic that you've crushed, two 14 ounce cans of fire roasted tomatoes, I have that right here, um, one can of chickpeas, one can of black beans, and one can of red kidney beans that you've rinsed and drained. I get the no salt added um, Whole Foods brands, they're like 79 cents or something like that a can, super easy. Love me a canned bean. Um, so I just rinsed that and drained it and put it over here. We have one cup of diced carrots, one cup of diced celery, and one diced red bell pepper. So super easy to remember all that. Um, half a cup of chopped walnuts. This is optional. If you don't like, like any overt fats in your food, you can leave it out. I think it adds something to it. It's kind of like one of my secret ingredients. You can even add up to a cup if you want, but I find that half a cup lets me have a little bit of that fat, but I don't want to like overdo it on the nuts for me personally. So we just put half a cup in it and it's really good. And if you don't like walnuts, leave it out. It's like not a big deal. It won't change the variation. I just like the texture of it added to the chili. Um, let's talk spices. So in our spice mix, I have one tablespoon of chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, one half teaspoons of ground ground cinnamon. Trust me on the cinnamon, don't skip that. And you can add chili, chili pepper as optional. I also added in a tablespoon of miso. That's gonna be our salt for this because I like miso for salt. Um, shout out to Dr. Gregor. But if you don't have miso, like you could salt and pepper it to taste at the end. And then you do need some water and our cheese sauce. And we're gonna put it all together I'm gonna switch over to a different camera so that way you guys can like see everything that I'm doing into the Instant Pot. But once we saute our onions and garlic, we are gonna just dump everything and set it and I'll show you guys, or talk to you guys about how to make the cheese sauce. I already did it. And I love this little like plastic bottle that I got on Amazon. I'll put a link to it down in the description box below, but I like to make different kind of sauces and just keep them in the refrigerator and um, this one's just such a hit with this meal so make sure you make this don't skip out on the cheese sauce so I'm gonna go switch over my cameras show you guys how to do it in the instant pot if you're doing it in, a, in the stovetop or you're doing it in a slow cooker just saute your onions and garlic until it's nice and translucent and that's cooked we're gonna saute with water no oil needed for this recipe or anything else. Um, and then you can add everything in and, and put it into your slow cooker and, or into a pot and simmer. So it's really easy. You can also add a lot of things to this. You can add some corn, like frozen corn. You can add in different peppers if you want to make this spicy. If you don't like chickpeas in your chili, don't add them or add a different bean. You can play around with this in so many different ways that I love it. And so this is just a good base recipe. 
I'll talk about too how I like to serve my chili and there's so many different ways to play with that as well that you can have chili all year round and never get never get tired of it which is really fantastic and we are big chili lovers in this house so I am promise you this one is going to want to you're going to want to make it a lot because it's easy and simple and for me it lets me get in a lot of beans in to my diet also sometimes I add in like frozen kale or frozen spinach to our instant pot and add it in. So maybe like a cup of greens um, to that as well. Just depends on what I'm in the mood for. But let me go switch over the cameras. I'll see you guys back in a second. And let's start making some chili. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So in your instant pot, hit the saute mode. We want this pan to get nice and hot before we add our red onions and garlic. So I go ahead and select the saute button. And you want to wait till your pan, you can kind of hear it sizzling, and then you know it's ready to add the onions. So I waited. We're going to do this in fast forward mode so you guys don't have to watch me do this for a long time. Um, I add just a little bit of water to make sure it's hot enough, and then I add my onions and garlic. And so I add a little bit of water as I go so nothing sticks, but I'm just moving it around every once in a while just to make sure it's not burning and you cook it until the onions are see-through and so that's how I always like to water saute without oil. Once it's done go ahead and select saute mode off and we can go ahead and dump our vegetables. So this is the celery, red onion, and carrots. Go ahead and dump that in and I love this recipe because we literally are dumping everything in our instant pot and we're going to set it to cook and forget about it. Um, so this is all the beans and walnuts. This is such a good recipe if you're busy. I love something that's quick and easy. If you've watched this channel, you know I'm all about the easiness, so this is a great recipe. Here's our diced tomatoes. And our spices. So that's all the spices and the miso. Go ahead and add that in. Make sure you get every little bit of that miso. It's delicious. And we're gonna add our water. So what I do for water is I just like to cover the legumes um, and that's it. So I didn't measure out the water. You can add more or less depending on how much you like your thick chili or more watery, but this is just a good visual to show you what I do and I give it a nice stir to make sure it's what I want. But just until the legumes are pretty much covered, you know, that's that's perfect. That's the exact consistency I want. And you'll be surprised um, at the end when you see. I think people in my cooking class were surprised about uh, I didn't pour in like a ton of water. But it, it really doesn't need a bunch. So you just want to cover your legumes and you're ready. So this is perfect. And now we're just going to set our, our top on and seal it. So go ahead and get your top of your Instant Pot, line it up correctly. You should hear it click and you want to go from venting to sealed. So that's really important to make sure your pressure cooker comes up to the correct pressure for this. Once you have your lid sealed, you can go ahead and press pressure cook and we want to put this at high for 25 minutes. Once you have your chili already in your bowl, you've put it on top of some kind of whole grain, you've added your little chili cheese sauce, it is ready to go. And I hope you guys make this. This is such a fun recipe. It's so easy, simple, great to freeze, um, great for a party, great for any time of the year, but specifically because we're getting into fall winter months. Um, but I hope you guys subscribe, share this with a friend, give me a comment below, like this video, and I will see you guys on Sunday for a new video. Um, but this is great. And all of the measurements and everything will be in our description box below. So if you missed anything or don't want to hear me ramble on about ingredients, um, you can go there too. But I hope you guys make this and like it. And I will see you guys very soon. I'm going to go grab a little spoon to try it. Grab my spoon to give it a little taste test, but I already know it's good. You need to make this. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Thank mm -hmm. you.